All right, and then we're going to work on our last uh, trinomial here. This one, we have a greatest common factor that we need to pull out. Uh, this one will be similar to that, but we've got a number we've got to pull out. So let's take our 12, break it down, and divide the prime. We have 2 times 2 times 3. 36 is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 27 is going to be 3 times 3 times 3. We only have 3's that are common in all. We only have 1 in this. So basically all we can pull out is a 3. So that's the greatest common factor. All right, going to carry it down. 3 times what gives us 12x squared? That would be or x squared, yeah. 4x squared. Uh, 3 times what gives us 36x? That would be... Um, 12x, and then 3 times what gives us 27? That would be 9. So we carry our 3 down, and it turns out that this is actually a perfect square, much like what's over there. We've got a minus in here. So 4x squared, what would be the uh, square root of that? But what times what? That would be 2x. 9, uh, we'll put 2x there, right? And this is minus. And then the square root of 9, or what times what, is 3. This would be the same. So we could actually write it as... 3 times 2x minus 3 squared, all right? And again, special patterns uh, follow. There's a lot of different things by way of factoring, and you need to kind of be able to practice and look for all of these different situations, what we need to pull out. Is it a perfect square? Is it a perfect square trinomial? Thank you very much. Take care.